Hi guys and welcome to another Fine Scale Modeler New Product Rundown One Shot. Today I'm going to be taking a look at Ravel Germany's PT boat. And this is the second edition of this kit, the PT579, PT588, which represents the later war version of the PT boat. This is in 70 second scale, so let's take a look. I went and got a knife, Tim. What was that? I went and got a knife. Oh, yeah. So I can cut my hair. <laughs> Classic Ravel end opening boxes. So let's take a look at the hull first. The difference between this and the earlier version, which was PT-109, is mostly armament and some fixtures above the deck. Otherwise, it represents, I believe, the 80-foot Elko PT boat. Those just do not want to come out of there. <laughs> really, I know how to open a kit box. Now, there's the deck. You can see this little skylight vent things. There's some structures for inside the pilot house and the openings for the deck wells. The hull actually comes in halves. And it's pretty basic. These are very simple boats to begin with. The rear section with the mounts for the running gear is a separate piece with the exhausts on the back. This same sprue has a bunch of the parts for the internal and uh, superstructures. There's the external part with uh, one of the anti-aircraft positions, internal uh, bulkheads, some other bits and pieces, internal uh, lockers, couch, that kind of thing. This has a little bit more of that. Here's the the uh, driver's seat, the pilot seat, um, the stand, some more internal structures, uh, one of the guns that may have to check and see if that one's actually used for this version of the kit. So let's see what else we have here. More structures. And this is not the same kit as the ancient Ravel uh, PT boat that dates back to about 1963 when PT-109 the movie came out. This is a new tool from a year or two ago. Um, we got more structures for the wheelhouse, the superstructure, some of the anti-aircraft gun positions, the frames for the anti-aircraft guns, uh, one of the Carly floats, one of the lifeboats. Surface detail is pretty nice. There's some internal structures for the, you know, body work. So there's a little bit to see on the inside as well. There's the front of the pilot house, cockpit, if you will, the roof. And here's one of the guns. I think this is the... That actually may be one of the guns from the earlier version of the kit. I need to check that. Um, and then here's antenna parts, anchor, good looking detail again. There's one of the, I think this is the mount for the front gun. The 40 millimeter gun, I think, or 37 millimeter gun. I can't remember which gun this is up front. I don't know my PT boats well enough to remember all those things. I'm so disappointed. I know. I figured you would be. This, this pile of parts. Yes. Well, there's a, there's a few in here. According to the box top, it says there are 176 parts. And here are the torpedoes and their racks. This is one of the additions for the later version. These are the rocket uh, 
launchers that are mounted off the side. I think they're rocket launchers. Yes, rocket launchers that were mounted on the side of the vessel here. Coming to the last sprue or no? Uh, I think so because I think these are all repeated ones. There's a clear sprue to look at too. So, and then there's the parts of the stand, uh, some of the gun tub features for the 50 caliber twin mounts, the exhausts for the back of the boat, screws, screws, um, life rings, the uh, ventilators. Uh, that kind of thing. Um, and then we have some clear parts. These are for the uh, windows, I think, in the cab, if I remember correctly, the cockpit. Um, so just little inserts. Okay. And then, again, what's nice about this, these later versions is we have Ravel's typical instruction booklet. I really like what they've done with their new instruction booklets. The color, the part maps, easy to follow instructions. But let's take a look at the really cool part, which is the marking options. We have PT-588 and the Pacific Fleet with the three color PT boat camouflage, which is very cool. And then PT-579, also in three color. This is from the same squadron, Squadron 39. Um, slightly different camouflage, I think, than the other one. Um, but you get that nice three color camouflage, not just one color or green. And then there should be, whoops, I'm assuming there are decals here. There probably are not a lot of decals. There's. Markings for the stand, um, you get flags, 48 stars, the uh, draft markers, and then the hull numbers for the two different kinds, and hmm, a tiny little set of gauges for the pilot, driver, whatever we call him in these things. So that is Ravel's new version of their 72nd scale PT boat represents the later version. If you like your upgunned PT boats, this is the one for you. This builds fairly easily based on Mark Carolis's review in the magazine of the first version, the PT-109. So if you like PT boats, go ahead and pick one up. Thanks for watching. I'm Aaron Skinner, Senior Editor from Fine Scale Modeler Magazine. I'll see you next time.